Hey there, and welcome to Rise Above Noise. Each week, I have the honor of shining a spotlight on someone in the Rise Above Noise community who's making a real difference and helping others with their business growth. If we haven't met yet, let me introduce myself. I am Susan Finn, and I'm a digital marketing consultant with Rise Above Noise, where for the past 15 years, I've been working with transformation creators. That would be energy healers, light workers, coaches, creatives, teachers, and I'm guiding them with a personal roadmap in their digital marketing journey. Together, we get to create a, their own system for showing up in a way that feels generous and in service so that we can show up with consistency. And that way, people who are already searching for you can find you. And your business is going to grow with flow and ease. And many of you who have been listening to me over the years have heard me offer the one tip that I feel is the most valuable practice. As you create your digital marketing strategies, you want to be able to grow with visibility, with more flow, with more ease. And that tip is this. Answer their questions. Everyone on the internet is searching. They're searching for an answer to something. If you have the answer, go ahead and share it. In whatever way works for you, share it so that they can find you. So in today's conversation, Neil Carroll of VidWheel is going to share some resources and his special slant on using video and frequently asked questions to show up for the people who are already searching for you, already searching for what you have to offer, already searching for the answers to the questions that they have. I think you're going to really enjoy today's conversation. Let's get right to it. And there we go, because it's Thursday. It is Thursday, and it is my favorite day of the week. You guys hear me say this every week, but this is it. When you know, as an entrepreneur, no matter what business we're in, right, Neil, we've got to, you, you can be a, excuse me, a health coach, an accountant, you can own a store, you can sell widgets, whatever it is that you're doing, you can be making amazing, and most of my clients are transformation creators, they're bringing people into a world where they'll be healthier, happier, um, have better relationships, but no matter what business we're in, we have to be marketers. And people sometimes are like, oh, I do that. I'm a marketer. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to sell my stuff. I just want to do it. But I get it, right? So we do have to do that. And I know that we're going to be here today to kind of talk about um, one of the ways that we can do that. Uh, before we get started with that, I'm going to do what I do every week and tell you about the five pillars of the Rise Above no Noise process and where today's talk is going to um, tie in here. Neil, do you see my screen with like a little old fashioned truck on it? Yes, I do. Okay, so there we go. So now I guess I have to press the play button. So that's what I'm talking about, right? Marketing is is really just a vehicle. I had this conversation with my husband the other day he, and I said, you know, people don't always know what digital marketing is. But then if I say, well, it's website and it's search optimization and it's email and it's video and it's, that's too long and people are like tuned out. He said, well, why don't you just say you do advertising? And I said, well, I don't do advertising, that's why. So it's so interesting, but basically marketing is a vehicle and whatever it is that you're doing, if it's networking, if it's phone calling, if it's uh, getting into groups on LinkedIn or Facebook, whatever you're doing, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, it, it, allows you to reach more people and you're not shouting at them. You're reaching them in a way that, that feels more organic than that. All right. So with that in mind, with the five pillars of Rise Above Noise, which many of you have seen already, it's, it begins with knowing who it is that you're talking to. And even before that, it's digging into your core values. And when I looked at my core values and who I wanted to spend my days with, I realized that I wanted to work with transformation creators because 
even now more than when I started 15 years ago, our world needs people who are making a difference in other people's lives. And then you want to know who you're talking to when you're doing your marketing, when you're reaching out to people. And you also want to make sure that you're um, controlling your time so that all of these things are so you attract clients who align. So the five pillars are know who your core value, know what your core values are, who you want to work with, who you can make a difference for, and how how you're going to be able to do that for them. What you know, what do they need to have so that they become your ideal clients? Number two is compelling content, and this is where we're going to spend our time today. Usually I will talk about frequently asked questions. And when I saw that Neil had written a blog recently about frequently asked questions and videos, I was like, can you come on, rise above noise? And of course he did because we that's marketing, right? Like showing up on someone else's podcast is marketing. Proof of concept, which I know that you've also written about, um, Neil, is, is testimonials and the case studies and storytelling, because that's really what people want. They don't want to be shouted at. They want to know the stories of how you took somebody from, from feeling a certain way to feeling the way that they wanted to feel. You want to organize and schedule your time. We won't be touching upon that too much today, but man, you got to protect your energy. You've got to put your systems in place so that you are not working 18 hours a day and still not knowing what you're doing. You got to have the systems in place. And I love, that's my thing. I love setting up systems. And of course, keeping in touch would be, if you're a great phone caller, make the phone calls. If you're great, if you're great at sell, sending snail mail, do that. Of course, in the work I do, it's about messaging and contact relationship management, and in particular, email marketing. And all of those things, all of these five pillars of the Rise Above Noise process are so that you can protect your energy, save your time, grow your business, and be of service to others. And so now I have to figure out how to do this here. Yes, give me some, thank you for giving me some grace. I'm in a different spot today. I think I can do this. I'm trying to stop sharing. Interesting. And it won't. Let's see if it works now. There we go. The tech, the there tech, the buttons, all the things. <laughs> so Neil's here with his super cool background. You guys watch it. You'll be hypnotized for a while. And I'm going to go ahead and bring over my notes and do a nice introduction. Oh, I took last week. I'll find it. Oh, I wish I could pause you guys, but that's all right. We're going to figure this out. I had something open. I can start talking, Susan, if you want. Yeah. And then you could do the intro after. Well, thank you very much for having me on. Um, and uh, well, thank you to everybody who's watching via live stream. Yeah, my name's Neil Carroll. Uh, I'm the founder of VidWheel LLC, and we have a video community called the VidWheel Creator Network. Is that enough, Susan? Did you find it? You know what? Go ahead, and tell, go ahead and tell uh, me, like, how you got, like, what's your thing? You're, you're the owner and founder of VidWheel. You, you can go into this, work in right. video production. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So we used to be a very traditional video production company. Uh, we had a studio downtown here. I'm located in Buffalo, New York. Uh, we did a lot of travel around the country to pick up, um, you know, uh, video for corporate clients and uh when the when the pandemic hit and uh things got a little crazy all of a sudden we couldn't do any of that stuff that we had been doing in uh as a uh a service so um ultimately what i ended up doing was really pivoting uh very much the whole business into instead of being uh, a video production company where people would come to us to because we could make better content than they could. Uh, we are now empowering mostly small businesses, solopreneurs, coaches, consultants, how to create their own video content and not only how to create, but how to utilize it within their uh, businesses to uh to get better reach become more efficient and um our big thing is 
we are on the lookout for best fit clients in the world, right? We're in a brave new time of being able to, to reach a lot further and have conversations with anyone. And it's an incredible opportunity, especially for smaller, really uh, specialized businesses. Well, you know, I, now that we're diving right into it, the thing that I know that people have gotten better about since the pandemic. So let's talk pre-pandemic, pre-being quarantined. People were very nervous about turning on their cameras and going live on Facebook. And there was a lot of anxiety around that. And it feels like this is our normal way now. It, it's interesting because in, in some ways, right? A lot of people are, are much less... Um, worried about getting on to say a Zoom meeting, but there's still a very small percentage of people who would be willing to record and publish video content or go live with it. So while the numbers are bigger, that's one of the initial hurdles that we find with a lot of folks that we talk to is just the, uh, the confidence to get in front of the camera and start creating. So, um, well, well, we could start there. What kind of, I know that we're going to talk about frequently asked questions because that's near and dear to my heart, but since we're talking sure. about this, what, what tips do you, how do you get people to feel more comfortable? What tips do you have for people? So one of the easiest um, ways I feel like people can get more comfortable in front of the camera and be ready to create or, or do this type of content. Uh, we actually built a free course around, so I can pop that over to you if you want, Susan, but it's called Camera Confidence. And it's just getting really confident with your video setup and the gear that you already have. Make sure that you have the best looking video feed that you can have with you know, what you have around you. And that takes away one of the major barriers, um, which is tech know-how, which is, you know, can really trip people up. They think they need a better camera. They think, uh, you know, they look at their feed and compare it to somebody else's and they're not feeling good about how it looks. So this is meant to kind of clear out all that uh, stuff. And it's just simple well, they're simple to a video professional, you know, you know, lighting techniques, where to be in frame on your camera, how to get the best possible audio, that type of stuff. Um, but I will, I'll share that over, well, we'll do it after the fact, probably. Yeah, right? I'll add um, it into the show notes and I'll put it on the um, the Facebook feed later on today. That's very kind of you to offer that to us. Thank yeah. You. And that's, that's one of the things. And then the second thing is just, you know, kind of the mental part of getting on camera, right? Which it's interesting because you'll speak to a lot of people who were very, who are very confident, say, speaking in front of a room. And then you put a camera in front of them and it's like a whole different ball game. So there is a little bit of a um, weird um, mental aspect there. And to me, one of the biggest things you can do is accept that your first video, your first appearance on a live stream like this is not going to be your best, right? So you got to go out, you got to do it, try it. It's not going to hurt you, right? You're going to be fine after. And then look at yourself with a self through a self-critical lens and improve from there. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to have... Um, statements you wish you could have said better you might see something in your video feed that you wish was a little different or whatever and if you looked at it through the lens of every time you make a video or every time you make that appearance you're gonna get at least one step better incremental improvement then before you know it you look back and you say look at that first one but you're feeling really good about um you know where you are from a uh a video production or video uh, quality perspective so so what i love about what you just said is such valuable information but it also ties into one of the topics that i cover a lot which is digital marketing is a practice right so yep. i meditate i do yoga and every day I need, I need to get better or something's not quite right. And so we never get it right. Same thing with digital marketing, right? We just, 
we just do what we can do and then try to be better the next time, try to be better. But with the same thing, now my other, the other part of my brain is like, yes, and look at your results, right? If people yes. aren't measuring their results, whatever your key indicators are, is it hits to your website? Is it how many people are getting on your email list? Um, is it, um, you know, how many people came to your webinar, whatever it is, measuring and then making sure that it's better next time. And if there aren't any results there, stop doing it, right? There are people spending way too much time on things that are not bringing them what they need. Yeah, it is good to know why you're starting something, right? And what you expect to come out of it. That's a great point. Um, if when you start a new series or, you know, whatever, a new uh, digital marketing campaign, you don't know why you're doing it or you don't know what results make it a success, then like you're, you're, I guess, doomed to fail, I'm going to say, or, you know, at least doomed to not know that you were successful. So, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a thing. And, and you know what that runs goes into. So now I really want to spend some time because I was just reading your blog and I know we, we pivoted a little bit. I was reading your blog about using Q and a for video. And one of the first things I teach my clients in the, and it's a second pillar in the rise above noise process is to create compelling content. And what is compelling content, but answering people's questions if you guys haven't heard me before, another time, like ask me about Marcus Sheridan and his book, They Ask You Answer. It totally changed my life. I know I remember the first time I heard him speak and it was like, ah, oh, that's all we have to do. Answer the questions. But now you're you have given me an extra because I said, like, let's go ahead and write them out. It's great for search optimization. Right. We're answering the questions. But with video. I think that you have inspired me to make a video series answering the questions. I, and it's a great, so one of the things I love about having video content that answers questions for your audience is to me, there's no more powerful, we're going to call the power play, uh, a, a, the most kind of impactful thing that you can do, say if you're on a sales call with somebody and they come up with a specific question and you've got a video answering it. It shows that A, you know the answer, B, you've thought about it before. And like, you know, if you can quickly share that link, uh, it can be a really good way to, um, to, to prove your expert status and give them the answer they need. Um, and, you know, you could give a verbal version in the meeting as well, but maybe it's more in depth, a whole presentation on, you know, topic X there, that is, uh, that can be a really impactful thing when it comes to building that, that, uh, no, like trust factor and, uh, just that you're an expert in your field without question. Right. So, right. So you're building the no, like trust. They hear you speaking. They realize that it's you, they know, and all the things you just said. And then when you have it on, let's, I'm assuming, right? Like you're going to put it on YouTube is what most people will use. And then when you optimize your YouTube um, post with the correct words and keywords and calls to action in the description, then it's going to multiply the impact of that too. And you'll be able to measure a lot of that too. So the other thing I often tell my, clients is to um, have one commitment to content each week, right? So this is mine. So I get a YouTube out of it. I get a, a podcast out of it. I get a blog. I get social media posts throughout the year that I can pull the nuggets out of. So video FAQs, I think would be amazing for that. Yeah. And you could even, if you wanted to, you know, if you're, if you want to do it interview style, you could bring on clients that you want to help kind of push or promo mm -hmm. and do cross promotional things there. So um, yeah, it actually ties in really well with one of the, the most um, mentioned uh, strategies that I, I pushed to my own group 
uh, the the VidWheel Creator Network is the easiest way to create, you know, compelling or, or high quality content is to interview somebody smarter than you and record it. That's my that's my whole thing there, right? So like it works great for podcasts. It would work really well for customers. And like you said, when you you know kind of go through longer form content like that and record it then you're able to uh, to chop it up and make smaller social media size uh, pieces that work really well and stuff too, so. That, I know, I'm very excited about this idea. And actually then you just gave me three ideas just talking. You guys, if, you're, if you've got questions or you have ideas um, that you wanna pop into the chat or you wanna email to me or um, Neil later, please do that because I feel like the energy is flowing. There's just so many ideas here. You know, so Neil, when I asked you, I'm going to go back to the beginning when I didn't do the bio. When I asked you what your uh, superpower is, you told me that your superpower is being in many places at one time. <laughs> yes. Tell me about that. Right. Well, I, I answered it from a business perspective. And that's one of the things we really push with video is that when you create content and you have it say, you know, intro video on your LinkedIn profile. You're there 24 hours a day, and you're there for the person who's visiting from Japan or just down the road from you. Um, so part of what I try to teach through our community is a lot of that, right? Like you're, you're multiplying yourself, you're multiple places at once, and your ideal client can therefore more easily uh, find you, especially if you're saying the right things, uh, you know, much to the point of your pillars and everything there. It's all about using the right language, saying the right things and making yourself available so that people can, can meet you and consume your content when it's good for them. Right. When it's good for them. I like that. I like that a lot. You've mentioned your community a couple of times. You want to tell me more about that? Yeah, sure, sure. So uh, the VidWheel Creator Network is the the name of our community, and it is a community that I set up to help solopreneurs and small businesses uh, leverage video to increase the reach, become more efficient, and find their perfect fit clients. Um, we use self-produced video to, to accomplish this. So it's really a community and education platform where we teach you how to make your own high quality video in a really repeatable and efficient manner. Uh, we draw on my experience, we draw on the experience of the community as a whole, and uh, we make video work for your business. Um, that's the that's the usual shtick anyway so um yeah that's how we do what it. is that they um so do you meet weekly so we have we have actually and this goes into something we talked about beforehand we do two educational events that are open to the public oh, per yeah. month okay. um so those are on thursdays uh, the next one is on Thursday, I want to say the 7th of July, though I should have looked that up before we got on. Hold on. Um, and it is on TikTok, using TikTok to generate sales as a consultant. Um, and it's with an expert out of LA named Stephen Pope. Uh, that is open to the public. I would love to have anyone who's interested in that come on out. You can go to events.vidwheel.com. All of our updated events are there. Um, and that's a Zoom meeting with the presentation by an expert that we bring in. There's some networking aspects, you know, a good virtual uh, event type thing. Uh, and we've got a second one of those meetings that happens two weeks after the So the 21st, I believe. Um, and that one's going to be at noon and features another uh, TikTok expert. So if that... I guess maybe that's a roundabout way of saying next month is TikTok month on the VidWheel Creator Network. We do theme our monthly content uh, so that we can kind of deliver concentrated value on specific topics. So next month is TikTok. 
the following month, the month of August, there'll be first videos, which is a great time for people to get involved who haven't taken a step into creating video or utilizing video within their business. And then we move some of the other really popular ones are video podcasts, sales with video, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, and they happen throughout the year. Um, yes. And then uh, other, I guess, meetings, we do office hours twice a week. We have asynchronous course content and we have a community that we've built on LinkedIn where people can, um, you know, uh, put out video that they want an opinion on, uh, access the, you know, uh, materials that we have available, uh, talk to other members, connect with other people who are involved. So it's, uh, yeah, we try to do a lot with, uh, with giving people ways to connect and, and move forward using video. Wow. That's so awesome. I'll, I'll get all the links and I'll put them into the notes here too, so that people, okay. I know that their people need this. I know we, we all <laughs> need this guys. Um, there are some people in my community who are playing with TikTok and okay. uh, yeah, it's fun. I'll say with this one, right? Like I have a good video knowledge. I've been in the industry for, well, a, 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 about 20 years, I guess. Um, but TikTok, I know nothing about. So I'm very excited on this one to like really lean into the experts and the community um, when it comes to knowledge about uh, a platform that I have not explored much myself. So yeah, I've kind of avoided it. But maybe if someone showed, right? Like maybe if I go to these two sessions that you're putting up, maybe then I won't be like, oh. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, if it, if it works for something works. specifically, then I'm, I'm always interested in new tech, but I recently, and I think, uh, you know, a, a lot of people maybe are realizing this. I pull back on tech all the time. I'm not all in on everything. It's got to actually make it a better solution. So if TikTok's a better solution in some way, I'm happy to to jump in on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it can't and it can't be another time suck. We have enough of those. No, no, no more of those. Know. Like we please. talked about at the very beginning. We got to know what yeah. our goals are and we have yeah. to know if this is going to bring us to our goals. Our time went by so, so, so quickly. I I um I really encourage people to find out to get uh, events.vidwheel.com. Go ahead and try out some of these free offerings that Neil and his community has. The regular uh, website is vidwheel.com. Yes. And um, they can find you on LinkedIn. And amazing. Is there anything else that you'd want us to take away from our talk today? Well, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is if you're a solopreneur or a smaller business, we have again gone through one of those inflection points in history where, um, you know, you're on a very, a much more level playing field than you were just a few years ago when it comes to being competitive with uh, bigger businesses out there. So don't, don't fritter it away, get in there and uh, utilize it, right? video can get you across the world so great advice thank you so much neil i'm really excited that we um we got to get you into our community and sharing that information thank you thanks for having me well there you have it i hope you enjoyed this week's rise above noise spotlight as much as i did did you pick up on that power play neil says Using video content that answers questions for your audience is the most impactful thing that you can do, especially when you're building that no like trust factor. And it shows so it shows that you're the expert in your field. And it also shows a little bit behind behind the mask, if you would, behind the curtain, who you are, what's important to you, how you show up for the people that you're meant to serve. When you create thoughtful videos that can be viewed just on a click, essentially you're multiplying yourself. You get to be in many places at one time 
because you're right there on video. Your ideal client can easily find you, especially when you're saying the right things, when you're using the right language, when you're answering the questions, when you're making yourself available, that people can see you and consume your content when it's good for them, when it's convenient for them. So you can see how our Rise Above Noise community is revolutionizing how service professionals show up in our marketing to make a real difference in the world, right? Marketing is just what you do that helps your business grow. And now more than ever, now more than ever, our world needs our transformation creators to be successful in their ventures, to show up in service and make a real difference in our world. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in our Rise Above Noise community and in the next Rise Above Noise Spotlight.